Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the histories, meanings, and contexts behind words in the English language. My name is Benjamin Lewis. This week's word was requested by one of my patrons over on Patreon, Point Curation. If you'd like to request a word, you can head on over to Patreon and sign up, and your word may be selected for one of my videos. So, in deference to my patrons' wishes, without further ado, here it is. Deference. Noun. Submitting or yielding your decision-making to the whims of another, usually as a sign of respect or reverence. History and etymology. The root of the word deference is to defer, which means to delay to later or to ask for approval. And to show someone deference originally meant you were setting your will aside and submitting to others. To some extent, this is still the inherent meaning of the word deference. Like most words in the English language, and many in other European languages, the word defer has its roots in a language called Proto-Indo-European. This is a theoretical language that was reconstructed by comparing words from languages in the area of India and Europe. A lot of what I do on this channel is follow these paths of particular words. Some words follow this path directly through the Germanic families and right into English. But defer follows a different path. It still has its origins in Proto-Indo-European, but it's a word that comes from the Romance languages, descended from the language spoken in ancient Rome. That language was Latin. The Latin ancestor of deference was deferre, a compound of the prefix de, meaning down or away, and fere, which comes from the Proto-Indo-European word bear, which means to carry. The Proto-Indo-European word bear is the origin of many words in the English language and many other languages. It, it's related to, like, to bear. Like, you're bearing a child, or you're burying a burden. At the time, deferre simply meant to carry away. As the common form of Latin spoken in the area of France changed into what we now call French, the suffix ens was added, creating a word that denoted the state of being carried away or carrying away. This new word deference, and referred to the action of offering or bestowing something upon another person. Literally, it meant to carry something to someone. As the word began to be used in English, it was also used to describe yielding to someone. This usage has fallen out of a lot of common usage, and the modern dictionary definition talks about honor and esteem and respect. Field research. For this video, I wanted to try something a little different. I wanted to actually get an idea of what people thought the word meant. So I ask you what you thought the word deference meant right off the top of your head without looking it up. And a lot of your answers were quite good, and many of them were even in line with some of the historical definitions of the word. Just to be fair, I'll let you know what my original thought was when I heard the word deference before I looked in any other dictionaries. And here's my definition. Giving up your decision-making to someone else. I was surprised at the number of people that had a very similar definition in their mind. Many of you saw the word defer at the beginning of the word deference and thought it meant to bring before someone just as I did. Point Curation, the patron that recommended this word, was also willing to give his definition on Patreon. And here it is. My thoughts on deference. Deference, to defer, to let someone else take charge of a given decision and to follow their direction. Here are some other definitions that I felt fell along the lines of mine and fit very closely. Um, from Twitter, Tyler P. Christensen said, 
to leave responsibility to someone else. And Tim Worthington on Facebook thought it meant a state of yielding to another. Someone using the username at Walt Whitman on gab.ai nailed it when it came to breaking the word down into its smaller pieces to figure out the meaning. I think deference means to defer. I think to defer is to relinquish authority. The N suffix probably relates to a French word adapted to English. The pronunciation of the E's in defer is also a continental romantic language rather than a Germanic language. This definition seems to be more in line with the older definitions listed in the Oxford English Dictionary. That's why I gave the definition I did at the beginning of this video. When people hear the word, this is what comes to their minds, and that's what they think it means. On BitChute, when I posted the field research video, Ray commented with a definition that I feel bridges the my definition with the dictionary, the other more common dictionary definitions. A show of respect, kind of like toadying. I love the use of the word toadying in this definition because it implies the giving up of one's will to another. I did get a couple of responses that matched the common dictionary definition of the word. From the empiricist on Twitter, he said it was veneration. And he looked it up and, of course, it said veneration as one of the definitions. Um, Read the signs on Twitter also said behavior expressing recognition of superior status. And BitChute even got in on the action and got the definition pretty close to most dictionaries. An appropriate feeling towards a redoubtable person. One of the most creative and interesting definitions was from Psychobot66 on Twitter. He took the word defer and took it in another direction, so to speak. Deference would be the act of deceptively manipulating information with intent of forcing those engaged in research to dis or discussion of the subject to shift focus and lose sight of the original topic or subject being researched or discussed. A fancy way of saying changing the subject. This, I thought, was really a cute way of looking at it, because you're deferring a conversation into another topic that's going away from the substance of the conversation. But looking at other dictionaries out there, most of the definitions focused on respect, humility, veneration, and not all of them, but some did include a second definition that said submission or giving up of your own will or authority to someone else. So, I think that's the definition I want to give as the primary one, is the giving up of your will to someone else, deferring to someone else, because that's what came to my mind, and it seems to be quite a few people also came to that same conclusion, looking, just hearing the word. And that's the purpose of a dictionary, is to know what people are going to think when you use a particular word. So it's good to know that it could also mean veneration or respect, but it's also got a hint of submission and in an in a almost negative sense to the word. Ultimately, I really like the way this field research segment turned out. Um, it was a lot of fun reading your definitions of the words. So if you want to be a part of the conversation, follow me on any social network. I'm on Gab, Twitter, Facebook, Minds. And anytime I do one of these field researches, I'll put out a video on YouTube, BitChute, Facebook, and PewTube where you can leave a comment with your definition of the word in there. So follow me on all those places and you can contribute to the conversation. And if you want to guarantee that your submission will make it into the video, head on over to Patreon and subscribe at the $5 level and it will guarantee that your entry will make it into my next video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss a single exploration of any word I look at in the future. If you want to help support the project, follow the links below to the blog and other ways you can support through Patreon, Maker Support, or even through direct contrib 
contribution through PayPal. You can also subscribe to a podcast version of the show through iTunes or Google Play. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on learning.